you doing great welcome back to tonight's ASMR video or welcome back I mean welcome today we're going to be focusing in on my shoe collection for which I have many and I didn't realize I had so many shoes only when I took a segment to show you today did I realize that I seem to have a little bit of an unhealthy obsession with shoes which is ironic really because I usually end up wearing the same shoe all the time, so I don't know what on earth that means or what that's all about. But anyway, I think whilst we go through this, we'll go through every trainer and sneaker, whatever you'd like to call it, depending whether you're transatlantic uh, on the other side or not. But we here in England would call it trainers or them trainers. And we'll go through that, my boots and everything, and along the way that I'll try on each pair as well. So you can see what it's like when it's actually being worn. Um, so hopefully that's something a little bit different to add in there, like, you know, the clothes off. But this time, it's shoes. Hopefully in this, there's going to be loads of shoe-making triggers. I have a bit of a guilty pleasure uh, when it comes to ASMR and shoes for me. Like when you do shoe cleaning, shoe trying on, uh, touching shoes, looking at shoes. I don't know what it is. But I find shoes incredibly relaxing and I don't know why, but I do know why. Like the first time that I got ASMR when I could remember was in the shoe store and that put on your shoe in the shop that rub the hands like give you a foot of massage or something and then it'd make all these sounds in my head would be on fire. So hopefully we will replicate some of that. Today. So I have a wide collection with me today, going from boots, trainers, and in between that as well, I'm not sure what you'd call that. So there should be plenty of noises and sounds in here which will trigger you, and if you love shoes and going through shoes and like show and tell type things, then this is something I think newish which I've done on this channel. So it'll be good and you will get tingles from each shoe. Each shoe is like textured differently. Uh, so there's some great sounds to be found in there. So without any further ado, let's start the collection. The first pair, which I have, are probably my most ambitious in terms of color. I'm usually quite plain in my colors, but I found out that all I'd have is black and white. I get trainers when I'm at the gym, if I'm training or something like that, and I'd always end up wearing the same sort of thing. However, I thought I needed something to introduce some color into the coordination. And if I was wearing a black top and then black shorts, then I thought something colorful at the bottom will complement the look whilst keeping in touch with the, the black theme going on here. And as you can tell that this coordination didn't last long because these are still in sort of near mint condition and barely warm. when you go in there on the inside there as well 
it has a lime green or luminous green, shall we say. And it's a really nice texture. And it's quite comfy on your feet. Mm-hmm. 
Post leather feeling type shoe. They're not waterproof, they've got plenty of holes in them to keep your feet nice and airy. And on the outside, it's sort of a snakeskin texture.
YouTube stuff is my new favorite boot, like actual boot. And I've always loved Timberland boots since I was young. And there's something about the, what you should call that, ombre color. I'm not sure, but it's sort of yellowish. Basically, the blondy hair color. And it's always been quite attractive for me. These boots are incredible walking boots. I do an awful lot of walking exploration, though when you've got your Timberlands, you don't tend to want to take them out or get them ruined at all, because that's the worst. And unfortunately, when I was filling up with diesel not so long ago, that I was wearing these at the diesel pump, decided it wanted to leak, and it went all over my Timberland shoes. So I was not entirely happy about that. But these things are cool. I did my best, and I think this is the
and this will be for when I'm usually walking. I try to walk every single day, and uh, I usually turn to these because I'd either be wearing like my my gym attire or something loose, and uh, I'm probably going to sweat a little bit. I like to walk long distance, and uh, these are like my red trainers, though they're padded around the edge here, so there's more sort of protection around there for long walks, but because it's padded, it's extra comfortable as well. I think probably out of all the shoes, these plain Nike trainers are the most comfortable for me. Um, they have that running heel on there, so those heel are obviously designed for when you're running, your foot goes down like that, and if you're running down as well, so it's got that little bit of curve there and then it sort of lays flat and picks up so it would always keep that nice motion keep your feet uh, in a nice position and um, moving in the way they're meant to move these um, are low would you say low rise there as well but it's airy and good when you're wearing shorts and and trainer socks so that's going to be nice and cool like, when you're running say running
chest shoe boxes this looks like you can just hang it up stick it on your wall frame it and hang it up that's very relaxing that obviously indicates that the boots and shoes are mainly for outdoor purposes unlike sneakers which are more shall we say modern
redstone means that it's a white bed. Though these are kind of in contrast to the other white Nike boot trainers which I have. I really liked the gold down there. It's a little bit ambitious in color. Um, didn't think I could really pull that off but I really like the color gold as well. And so I thought I should have these. And these where it's the rubber on the side there so there's extra support when you're walking these are exceptionally comfy when you walk not great for running obviously though they have a lot of bounce like in the heel bit here so when you're walking along with a heavy foot then all your heel and joints are being well protected and uh, it feels great i've always liked the slits long here because that reminds me of the trainers when I was a kid and I used to have those trainers with flashing lights in them and they were really cool. I'd quite happily have them again though I'd probably look a little bit ridiculous. On the bottom it keeps the sort of black theme with the gold colour as well which I think really goes nicely when I say it keeps with the black theme. There's no other black in there. It creates a new theme. I like the black usually that would be white um, so there's little things about this trainer which just stands out a little bit and I think it has some nice touches to it. I really don't like bows to be honest. I think trainers look far cooler when they're just sort of loose and hanging open. Okay, so this is kind of reminiscent to this Reebok classic shapes at the front. So I'm always a little bit dubious whether I should like them or not. Um, sort of lasted long. Um, I don't really wear them that often. Uh, I usually have other trainers to go for um, but I think it's just because it has those little tiny bits which are different and sort of perky and um, in the look that it creates. So like on the hill area as well. Like you'd think the hill went, would go way up there but it's not like on the inside it falls right in so it's really comfortable on the hill there. On the outside it feels like a fleece material there. So it's a very warm shoe again. And the bike run all the time in exceptionally hot uh, body temperature. Like anything, everything makes me hot. I don't know if that's because of the food which I eat all the time. I don't know, but I'm always boiling hot and um, I have to be careful with the shoes. So that's why you should tend to have more airy ones. Um, but this is um, now and again, I'll pop these on. I think they look pretty good. And they're a nice pair of trainers.
these are probably the most used in uh, my trainer collection and uh, these are what I use for if I was going for gentle jogs, long walks or something, especially on concrete or roads and things and they have a really nice color which sort of blends in with everything. These are my Nike, I'm not sure if you would call them uh, running shoes and more training gym shoes um, or maybe basketball shoes, maybe not basketball trainers but uh, definitely training I think usually because when it goes on in on the in song then that shape indicates more sort of training and not running I think um, but I could be wrong that's filthy I wish I didn't show you that <laughs> okay so here yeah, it's more that boot thing which I love sometimes with shorts like I like wearing things a little bit high up um, as opposed to wearing uh, long socks um, so these have the air holes around the top so this is a very airy and loose shoe it's like so weightless and uh, feels like nothing I really like the style of it and the contrast between the dark grey and the light grey and that sort of sharp line which goes across uh, which I really like with this shoe I think I got this at an outlet Nike outlet and the price of this was just it was I would have paid full price of these let's put it that way and it, it wasn't expensive at all so this was like one of those real sort of bargain finds I think because size 12 shoes tend to not be that popular so I get to have all the pickings really and uh, yeah pick up some cool shoes like this one now the laces are exceptionally thin they're not elasticated like the other ones and even though I was very skeptical before I sort of moved to these sort of trainers because I thought these would not last just having like a little bit of material there but it proved me wrong and I've had these for years and I've done so much with them and uh, they should be looking probably a lot worse than they are now but they still look pretty good I think and they are as well as really nice and flexible in all the rubber and there's the Nike logo on the back there as well and I think for shoes I love so much is the grip holes as well so they, these are so handy for me when I'm taking on shoes because I can never get them off so I just whack my finger in and it comes off straight away that is a feature which I love in all of my trainers and if they were that or had that then yeah that's great I think these are probably the most handsome maybe It's like a futuristic vibe going for it, uh, like it should be some sort of future boot from Back to the Future, uh, but the textures look really great and also sound pretty great too. And the beauty of this is that the shoe disappears too, 
uh, you can't see the shoe whatsoever, so it has this sort of camouflage bonus to it as well. But this is probably one. They're all actually really comfy. Uh, they have like different uses, but they're this, the black ones, the red ones, and the Timberlands are my exceptionally exceptionally comfy trainers. And then the white boot ones and the other trainers are not so comfy. Uh, the white trainers, um, these are great. So I think that we've talked an awful lot about sneakers and trainers. So I hope that throughout this, it's been the kind of more mature. Um, video for you and if you shared like your love for shoes which I didn't realize I had a love for shoes until I started putting this together and uh, taking a pick on which shoe which I would like then um, I think I actually really love shoes so it's something which you always upgrade and that there's always different styles and fits and each shoe has its own quality and uniqueness and is very ASMR y and uh, what shoes have to offer. And these shoes here uh, have served me exceptionally well and I think have been probably the most used. I had like a, a pair of ASICs and um, those lasted me through miles and hundreds of miles and years of running. However, they are so badly worn I did not want to bring them in this video. But these have given me equal purpose uh, usage and have been exceptionally good to me. So thank you very much, Shu. You've been so kind and uh, keep up the great work. So I hope you've enjoyed going through the shoes and uh, kind of show and tell type thing. Obviously in the sneakers and the different textures and what sort of makes I go forth when it comes to shoes and style.